In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install RStudio on your Linux machine, especially Ubuntu or any of the Ubuntu derivatives. Now, in my last two videos, I showed you how you can install R and R Commander. Now, you have to have R installed before you can install RStudio or for RStudio to work. Now, on my webpage, I'll have the link below that I'll explain what RStudio is and how the steps for installing RStudio on your computer and if you don't have R installed you can click the link on my site to install R on your Linux machine. Now what RStudio is, it's a free open source IDE and IDE stands for an Integrated Development Environment. Uh, as I already mentioned you have to have R installed uh, for it to work. Now I do have two links uh, on my site now this is because I, this link here is for my Ubuntu Mate 18.04, the long-term version. If you're using something different, you can click the link below and it will open up another tab allowing you to look for uh, the download links. When you get here, you simply scroll down to the bottom and you can see the tarballs are zipped up files. These are the installers, like if you're on a Windows machine, a Mac machine, or Ubuntu or Fedora machine. As you can see here, I'm using Ubuntu 18.04.1. Uh, so I have the long-term version. Uh, you can look through here where it says 12.04 uh, to 1510. 12.04 to 1510. That's the 32-bit. This is the 64-bit and Ubuntu 16.04 plus which means the newer versions and this is the version that I have linked on my website now once you've determined which version is on your uh, you have you click the download link and it will download a 65 megabyte file or dependent upon the size of that matches your system and when it finishes you open the desired location and you must have GDB installed on your system. And if you don't have it, if you go to my website, I will show you how to install GDB on your system. Now, I'm going to keep the file. Because it's kind of like an executable file, deb file allows you to install. Uh, it will say that this could possibly harm your computer, almost like if you're on a Windows system downloading an executable file. You're going to choose to keep this file. Say keep anyway say show in folder and it will open you up to your download folder in this case is my download folder downloads folder and here's the file that I just downloaded and this is the file you're using to install RStudio just double click the file or you can right click and say open with you can choose your GDB package but as you can see here it's going to bring up my package installer because I already have it pre-installed it comes pre-installed with Ubuntu Mate and it's going through and scanning my system to see if it's needing any dependencies and if it needs any dependencies it will say over in the left hand side that it will need see it says required the installation of one package if you click details it will show you the package that it needs I'm going to hit close and when I click the install package the first thing it will do is will go on the internet download and install the dependency it needs and then it will download and install RStudio so when you click the install package button it will prompt you for your password and then it will go and get the dependency and then it will install the program so I'm going to click install package it'll go through and ask you to authenticate so you put your password and then you hit authenticate and actually you don't need the downloads uh, folder up anymore you can close that out you can close where you downloaded this at and you can actually close the link that you downloaded the file from and I'll bring back up my package installer it's looking f across the internet and it'll start downloading once it finds uh, the actual dependency it will start downloading the dependencies and downloading and installing the dependencies so it's getting the dependency to install it and then it will actually install our studio on your system and when it finishes it will place it in the applications programming folder so that you won't have to actually go in there and create an icon as we did with R and R Commander. Now it's going and getting the package RStudio that's the name of the file that it's getting and installing. So it's uh, downloading and installing the file. It will take a few moments. It's not a very large file but it will take a few moments to install and when it finishes installing when this little dialog bo box goes away uh, don't just close out the one behind it. You want to wait till there's two buttons appearing here. And while that's installing, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, don't close it out immediately when it disappears. You want to see 
reinstall package and remove package these two buttons should appear and it should say the same version is already installed so when it finishes and that box goes away do not close the box behind it so it's going through and it's downloading the files from the internet and then it's going through and installing them so that's what it's doing when this little bar scrolling back and forth is doing it's getting the files that it needs and then it's installing the package that it needs on your system and as it's doing that now here it goes it's almost complete it says complete a lot of people close this out don't close it out just yet it will update your package installer in just a moment even though it says complete it's not complete now it's updating your files and then this is going to disappear. It's the same version as install, reinstall, or remove package. So to remove RStudio, you can just simply click the remove package button and it will take RStudio off your system. Now you're ready to close the dialog box. And as you can see on my website, it's going to put it in your programming uh, folder or menu. You, as you can see, it will place RStudio here. And then when you click on that, it will actually execute your RStudio program. So let me scroll back to the top, minimize my browser, go to Applications, go down to Program. As you can see here, I have R, R Commander, and it installed R Studio and placed it in alphabetical order in my program menu. Let me click on R Studio, and in a few moments, it may take a little while longer to load for the first time. Uh, that's to be expected. And once it loads, you will then ready to be able to use R Studio, the IDE uh, for R. It looks very similar to R Commander, but again, this is an IDE. You have your little R terminal over here, and as you can see here, I've got the updated version of R. I've got R version 3.5.2. So if you're using the older 3.4.4, you can go to my website, and I have the instructions for installing the newer version of R. So this is how you would install R Studio on your Ubuntu or Linux machine if you haven't installed it or need to install it. I hope this video has been helpful and have a great day.